Good evening. I'm extremely excited to have a special guest on with us tonight, Mr. Charlie Chena. Dude, thanks for being on, buddy. My pleasure, man. Pumped up. Happy to be here. Man, dude, Charlie, if you guys haven't seen or got to meet Charlie yet, man, he's been a huge influence in what we're doing. Charlie is an awesome guy. He's worked with people like Les Brown, Eric Thomas, Tony Robbins, some of the top experts on the planet. And I'm telling you, dude, to get inside this dude's mind, this Char Charlie blows my mind every time I get a chance to talk to him. He's one of the most creative, sales-driven, and motivated people that I've ever met. And I'm super jacked and pleased to have you on tonight, brother. Well, from one salesman to another, I'm jacked to be on with you, man. That's awesome, buddy. Dude, man, so, so isn't it true that you've worked with some of the top minds in the world when it comes to sales, entrepreneur, creating wealth, growing a business. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I, I've been in this arena now for, for seven years. Um, kind of got into it by accident. You know, my entire adult life, the past, you know, three plus decades of my life, I've always been in a high level sales position, owned my um, own companies or helped skills, my marketing skills, you know, and, and ultimately, uh, you know, created this whole concept of, you know, expose and close, right? How do you market, promote and sell? And the techniques that I've, I've used not only to acquire clients like Les Brown or Eric Thomas or John Taffer from the show Bar Rescue. And um, I, I mean, I, t I share those clients with you for one reason, right? People can relate to it. It's social proof. Completely. But I have numerous clients that you've never heard of that are, you know, seven figure money earners that, that I've been able to um, help present, you know, promote and profit, not only with the technology, the Lightspeed technology I represent, but by just kind of having the mindset uh, and, and helping them gain clarity of exactly, you know, what they do and what problem they solve. Completely, man. So, so for those that don't know, Mr. Charlie China is going to be a keynote speaker at the 8% Nation Insurance Wealth Conference at Nissan Stadium. He's actually, dude, he's the mastermind behind a lot of things that we're doing because we have learned a ton from him and we're super excited to have him on stage speaking at Nissan Stadium with Grant Cardone, Ray Lewis. And Charlie even said, hey, dude, let's do something special for the audience tonight. I want everybody to know. He said, hey, let's use the, let, let's use Don't the. Don't tell yet. Don't okay. All right. All right. We'll we'll hold off until the until they learn a little more from us. I like it. But no, I'm I'm really excited to speak about your industry, and and, and let me tell you why. You know, one of uh, my mentors is my uncle, but my it's my uncle through marriage. Uh, his name is Robert, and he's really like an older brother to me. He's actually the best man at my wedding. That's how close we are. So it's actually my my aunt's husband but he's like my brother and you know now his kids are, are are like my kids and he's been in the industry forever he did 31 years with Allstate and we've always mentored each other you know if he if he had uh you know sales questions or how to hire people how to train his sales people and get them motivated you know for the for the past literally 30 years you know he's he's one of the guys you know I call him when I have an issue or vice versa but I'm familiar with the industry and I'm familiar with the pain points of the industry. And it also amazes me that, you know, the industry not only is, you know, trillions of dollars. I mean, you and I talked about that. We actually can't put a number on it, right? Because there's big. Yeah, there's PNC, there's commercial, there's final expense, there's, you know, Medicare, like there's just so many facets of the industry. But my uncle told me when I was in my early 20s, man, you should get into the insurance business. You would be awesome. And I was like, ah, Unc, it's just, you know, it's just not sexy enough. Well, right. what I didn't realize at the time, and again, I've been, I've been selling since I was, you know, 9, 10 years old, 11 years old, selling newspapers, um, you know, or shoveling driveways or whatever else I could do to, to generate revenue, you know, selling some type of product or service. But what I didn't realize at the time was, was a couple things. A, how big the industry was. B, although I didn't think in my early 20s it was sexy, you know, I'm thinking you got to be filling out forms or doing this or you're doing that, which I know is part of the game. 
but I really didn't realize that we're all just moving money. Yeah. Right. We're all just in the distribution business, you know, selling water needs to be sold, needs to be distributed. Money needs to move. So in, in looking back at it, I, I, I kicked myself in the butt because I'm like, man, not only is it a multi-trillion dollar year industry, yeah. not only is every single person, you know, potentially from the age of 18 on up, right? If they could fog the old age, if they could fog a mirror, right? right? You, you have a client, they need something. They need whole life, they need term, they need auto, they need something. Completely. And it's passive residual income. And everyone hears that word, but I don't really think people know what it means because they hear it or they'll hear a lot of, you know, big motivational speakers or money speakers talk about it, but, you know, passive residual income is making money while you sleep. So, you know, what you're creating with this insurance wealth conference, when you and I first started talking, I said mm -hmm. to you, Cody, you know, what's, what's your vision and why did you get into this industry? And, and you kind of said a word to me that stuck and you said, well, I made a hundred quote, if I'm wrong, man, let me know. You made $117,000 at 19 years old in this business, right? True. In eight months as a student athlete, yeah. In eight months as a student athlete, right? So you tell me, man, I, I got in this business for wealth creation. So, you know, when you invited me to speak, A, I'm excited about the industry, and B, what I really want to teach people is – how to present themselves, how to position themselves, and then how to profit, how to create multiple streams of, of profit. Because when you acquire a customer, and I'm having this conversation with my uncle right now, like mm -hmm. he's a PNC guy, and I'm right. saying, on like branch out, do you know? If you got the client, do commercial, do final expense, do this, do that. And he's like, well, you know, I need more people. And I got to scale up. And I'm like, yeah, man, but if you got that customer and you sold them a bottle of water, you know, maybe they want flavoring to go in the water. Maybe they want to carbonate the water. So at any rate, I I'm excited, man. And I, I don't, you know, I'll sit here and, 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 and talk about sales and marketing and promotion and presenting and, and, and go on and on. But you know your audience better than I do. I mean, why don't you let me know which direction we should take the next 20, 30 minutes? Yeah, dude, dude did you realize that not only 92% of insurance agents fail in this business, but did you also know that there are more millionaires in the financial services and insurance industry than any other industry in the world? They're in the right vehicle. See, now I got to shout out to my uncle and say, man, you were right. Maybe maybe it's not too late. <laughs> for, huh? Maybe 100%. it's not too late. Yeah, man, it, it, it's it's um, it's ridiculous. So what I'm excited about is a kudos to you because when 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 you and I met, um, you were telling me that you were doing this conference, and I'm like, you know, bro, how you know you're what 28, and you're like, yeah, and I'm like, you're putting on this conference at Nissan Stadium. I mean, you're writing some big checks to bring in some big names. I mean, if you're bringing in Grant, right? I know that was a high five figure fee to bring Grant in. Right. So, I mean, you know, I told you straight up, man, you got some, some, some big ones. Like what, what, first of all, what made you make that decision to make that commitment? Uh, I'm someone that if I'm going to do it, you know, if it's the right decision, I'll, I'm going to go all in. That's just me. You know, if it, it, dude, if that, that's just, if I think it's the right thing to do, if I wait, I'm going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be just, vomiting every day thinking about how I should have done it immediately. And uh, I'm someone that if I'm going to do it, number one, I want to do it right. And by getting Grant Cardone to come speak, not only were we doing it right, we were getting off to a phenomenal start, but the dude's got a lot of attention. You know, if you're going to throw an event, you're going to throw in a conference, you're going to help people create wealth, dude, they got to know about it or they can't come create wealth. So what better way than, you know, throw Grant Cardone up there on stage at Nissan Stadium. When well, you got Coach Burt coming in. You know, Coach Burt, I know he's a he's a light speed client. In fact, uh, he just spoke at an event that we had it was absolutely incredible. Knocked it out of the park. Um, Tim Story's a client. Know Tim very well. Traveled to some various conferences with Tim. Um, he's a Dude, Tim is an unreal speaker, man. 
Unreal. Yeah. He's, a, he's a player. He's been around the block, you know, from soup to nuts, spiritually, financially. Emo- he covers the whole gamut, and he and he brings it. And then you've got a lot of people like, you know, Vince Spompanato. Like, like a lot of people may not have heard of Vince Spompanato. I know Vince. I know Vince well, and he's got a huge operation. I mean, he's a self-made guy, boots on the ground, that trains people how to pick up the phone and essentially, you know, convey his message mm-hmm. clearly and, you know, collect dollars. So, you know, he, he, teaches, he teaches his people how to connect, pick up that phone, right? What do you say? How you say it? How do you convey your message? And then how do you close the deal to ultimately collect the money and acquire the client? So, so what you're putting together is huge. That's why I'm excited to be involved with you, Cody. It's, it's, listen, I can't wait to get up and speak. I can't wait to talk about my expose and close, you know, marketing concept, but being able to participate in a brand new conference i mean you're bringing a whole community together like i i want to make sure that everyone understands that you're stepping up you're putting your money where your mouth is you're preaching preaching what you're practicing and practicing what you're preaching and anybody that's out there that's hesitating to buy a ticket there's Mm got to be a disconnect because number one I know I was at 10X and I know you were at 10X, right? Yeah. And I know you told me that you paid 15 grand to get up close and personal with Grant. Yep. Right. There was 10, close to 10,000 people there. True. Right. So, you know, maybe 10% of the audience in the vicinity to, um, you know, shake Grant's hand or hear him talk in, a, in an intimate group or at an after party or something like that. But, Grant's going to be at your first event. So number one, anybody that wants to get in the proximity of Grant or see him live, mm. is going to have to pay the 15 grand that you had to pay because you're what you've already stepped up and paid it. That's number one, you know, coach Bert, the networking opportunities. I mean, I was on the phone with a gentleman the other day and I mentioned, uh, um, your, your conference and he was like, oh, yeah, man, I, you know, I live in Tennessee. I said, well, I know. That's why I'm telling you, like, you need to get there. And he said, well, I'm not an agent yet. I'm looking for an opportunity. I'm like, bro, you need to go and get your butt in the seat and get to the event because it's, it's not only about the speakers and what you're going to hear. It's right. the networking opportunities. It's who you're sitting next to and that's part of my whole expose and close marketing system concept formula Mm -hmm. and i use the word marketing because i think people get hung up on the word sales people get hung up on the word marketing and now when you say marketing you know people trigger social media and people trigger well i don't like to hard close people say expose and close I want to teach you how to present and position to profit. I am going to be teaching you how to present yourself in a way to where you become unforgettable at the first point of contact, right? Not only with how you look, right? Because that's a way to present yourself. But then what do you say when somebody says to you, what do you do? A lot of people get tongue tied and they'll say, I'm an insurance or I'm a chiropractor or, you know, people in my position might say, uh, I sell online training software. So I don't sell online training software. Mm -hmm. I empower speakers and trainers and subject matter experts to monetize their content online worldwide in three easy steps. Okay. If I was in the insurance business, what I want to teach your people, is I know there's different products and I might not have nailed this message down perfectly, but if I was in the insurance business and you said to me, Charlie, what do you do? Go ahead, I'll wait. Charlie, what do you do? I empower families to protect their homes, their assets, and their lives 
guarantee in three easy steps. Now, again, I did that very simple. Yeah. But, but what do you do? Well, I help them activate, acquire, and achieve. And again, those are just three words I use, right? Well, what do you mean? Well, I help them activate their mindset to make sure that they have the proper coverage in their homes to protect their families, right? I help them acquire, like, you see what I'm saying? Like, you have to take people down and tell them what problem you're going to help them solve with the right words, because yeah. words trigger pictures, which trigger emotions, which get people to take action. A bit of action, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, are you, are you guys sure this dude is, isn't in the business already? I mean, I love this. If, yeah. you, if you guys aren't sitting here taking notes, man, if you're not getting your butt in, in a seat at Nissan Stadium, back row, front row, doesn't matter. You're gonna get to hang out and listen to someone that I'm loving learning from. He's got so much to give at this conference. He's giving you a small taste. You got to come to get the rest, man. Oh, you guys got you guys got to ante up. Like I know Jess at your office right now is doing something. Yep. Um, you know where if you hit the website and you call, you guys are running some type of promotion. But here, here's the reality. Yeah, there's nothing to think about. You need I like you. You stepped up and you went to 10x. You spent 15 grand, right? True. Grant's first boot camp. The first boot camp he did. It was like a year or so ago, right? Mm -hmm. I went. It cost me five grand to go to that boot camp. I got on a plane. I left my family, right? And I had all that that mental talk in my mind. I'm like, it's that negative self talk. Oh man, it's five grand. Like you don't need to spend five grand, right? I mean, I have access to Cardone University, right? I've seen him come in and record content. I've been I've been to a lot of his live events. I just got back from you know. The first 10x, you know, and then and then I'm going to the boot camp. So I made every excuse why I shouldn't go. And then I'm like, no, man, it's only five. Like, all I need to do is meet one person that's going to sell one system or might need one of my other products or services. Or maybe there's an accountability or partnership that comes together. Like, mm -hmm. long story short, I went first five minutes. Grant got up and spoke. A word triggered in my mind, triggered a picture, triggered an emotion. I went back. I implemented that. The, my first week back at the office, I did money back and then some and met a couple cool guys that were at that event. I mean, I don't know if he's watching. I, I, I met this venture capitalist. His name's Mark Schulman, just so everyone doesn't think I'm BSing. We're still, he called me the other day. He goes, hey, man, I need to, I need to raise some money. You know anybody? And I put him in touch with a couple couple people that had the wherewithal that, that that are investors, right? You know, so he's sending me business, I'm sending him business, and we're networking. So, well, you know, you, you mentioned that. What's really cool about you? You talk about specific nuggets and what we were going to learn. You talk about networking. Our ultimate sponsor, Wesley Financial Group. Mm -hmm. Where do you think I met Chuck McDowell? Wesley Financial. I met, I met Chuck at uh, the first 10X conference. The dude, I know Chuck. the dude, the dude ponied up and wrote a check for 50 grand to be an ultimate sponsor at a wealth conference in his hometown in Nissan Stadium. I yeah. met him at GrowthCon. We yeah. ate lunch together multiple times. Chuck and I met briefly. I mean, we're not, you know, we're not best buddies, but we probably talked for 20, 30 minutes, hit it off. You know, tr um, Chuck is a, a, is a smooth operator on on all levels very knowledgeable, walks the walk, talks the talk. Yeah, so man, I'm pumped. Like for me to be in an environment where I get to talk about, you know, sales, I love selling. Like people that say, I don't like selling or I hate selling. I love every step of it. Now don't misunderstand me. I get frustrated, right? You get the guy, oh, I got a deal, right? Call me back tomorrow, you can't close it, you know, I, and the deal blows up. I mean, that just means you're not exposing enough you're not exposing enough, you're not exposing enough, right? The more people you talk to, the better off you are. And then you feel that 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 pipeline and you're closing deals. But that being said, I personally love it. But what I'm trying to impress upon people is what wor has worked for me in my past 32 years, right? And everyone's so hung up on social media and I'm not suggesting, I mean, I know you make millions of dollars through social media. True or false? True. Right. True. So 
it's not going anywhere. That's that's my right. weakness. I'm trying to learn from guys like you to make it my my strength. We're doing it right now. It's an impression, right? We're we're out there. We're getting attention. People talk, but there's definitely a disconnect in today's day and age where a lot of people have become, you know, keyboard warriors, as I as I like to call them. One of my buddies used that term a while ago, and I'm like, man, that's a great term. I got to use that, right? So you're there, you're you're posting stuff. You've got this persona, but then if you have to go meet somebody, right? you become totally inept. And I'm not saying it's on all cases. So I want to go old school. I'm so, I want to be so out that I'm, that I'm in again, right? So how you, you know, how you dress, how you shake a hand, how you make eye contact, hi, my name is, right? What's your power pitch? How do you pique my interest so much that in 30 seconds, you want what I have? Right. Well, and, and you always do this thing where, like every, every time, every time I ask you what you do, you, you end with guaranteed in three easy steps. Right. And then naturally you're, you're starting a conversation because someone's going to say, you know, first thing you're going to say is, dude, what are the steps? You know, you said three easy steps. How do you do it? What I'm going to cover at your event is a deal that I closed at 10 X and I'm going to tell the story step by step mm. on how I closed a deal with the same laptop that I'm on right now, sitting at Starbucks coffee shop in less than 30 seconds in the three steps that I've shared with you one-on-one, -on -one, you and I behind the scenes over the past couple of weeks, but I'm going to share it with your audience. And I have the gentleman that's going to show up to prove that I did exactly what wow. I did. So, so again, what I'm doing is not rocket science. It's just a, a sequence and a formula of how to present position profit, how to promote present position profit, because whether you're writing ad copy, you're presenting. When you dress in the morning, you're presenting. If you're not, if you're putting on cologne that's offensive or not offensive to some, you're presenting in some way, shape or form. Right. So I want to teach everyone how to present. And then that leads to positioning, persuading and profiting and everything that comes with it. But it will make this the quote sales process, the networking process, the marketing process, which, by the way. Are all married. Right. So I love when people say, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in marketing. Right. And I'm in sales or I'm in, you know, social media, like, dude, it's, it's, it's all the same game. And, and if people have their marketing message down, pat that 30 second pitch, I can help anybody or any company take that 30 second pitch and take that for lack of a term viral, but not, not just, you know, digitally or a message on the internet or on Facebook. I'm talking, you know, a handshake, a webinar, a live right. event, whatever the case is. That, that's one of the things that I've learned the most over these last few weeks is having a clear message and how, and you, you know what, since we started talking, I've started paying attention to other insurance agencies, insurance agents, companies, dude, most, a lot of people need help with that. So I'm excited for you to cover that from stage at Nissan stadium. I think you're, uh, I think you're speaking in the, uh, Million Dollar Sell Summit portion. Uh, Ooh, I like the way that sounds. How, how, how about that? The mindset and the mission and the moves and opportunity to really make a difference right now. That's right. To, to produce millions in the Million Dollar Sell Summit. Uh, same day as Bert. Same day as, as Grant Cardone. Um, one of the next, the next day after Tim Story and Ray Lewis, dude, you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be sandwiched right in the middle. Of, uh, of all all five of you incredible speakers, man. It's going to be good. Is there anybody, I can't see, is there anybody right now on that hasn't bought a ticket, man? If there's somebody watching right now, you need to make a move. You need to make a call to action. Yep. Get a ticket. I mean, I think someone should really, the minimum I would do is get a VIP, if not a premiere, really. I mean, you only got, what, 27 premiere tickets left? 
at this point, yeah, we just had two uh, go off this afternoon. It may, may be less than this, close to that. Yeah, so if you got a premier ticket, and get the premier ticket. I mean, again, I looked at what you're having. You've got a bunch of, of, of um, after parties and social engagements, and you got the VIP room. So, you know, if you can afford the premier, get the premier. Plus, you know, it's a, you're writing it off. It's a business expense, right? So it, it, this isn't a cost. It's, it's truly an investment. And I don't say that lightly. You always hear people say, oh, it's not a cost. It's an investment. I mean, you have to play or pay to play. And, again, kudos to you, man, because you're the one that's putting it all out there. You know, you're putting it all out there and you're just saying, hey, man, you know, for a small little fee, you get to show up. Not only are you going to get some of the best teachings, training, strategies and tips by the top people that are proven. Right. In, in various industries, as well as the insurance industry. But, you know, all they need to do is call you and say, hey, here, here, here's my card. I'm showing up. Exactly. I mean, what's the uh, what, what's this? I mean, we're natural procrastinators. There's thousands of people that know that they want to go, thinking about going, they should go. Um, as, as a marketing and, and, and sales guy, uh, what's the psychology behind that? Or when you're on the fence, or when you were on the fence about the boot camp, you know, hey, it was five grand. Or when I was on the fence about the, the you know, tickets, I didn't plan on paying 15 grand and going premier at all. I, I'll leave you with this. I for all intents and purposes, wasn't born with a spoon in my mouth, a silver spoon in my mouth. But I watched my dad with a ninth grade education build a business. And I learned a ton from my dad. I mean, a mm. ton. You know, how to shake a hand. I mean, he taught me way back when your name is your brand, right? He said, when you leave, you know, you dress from the bottom up. You better have on a good pair of shoes all the way on up because, you know, people are watching what you do. And my dad happened to be in the clothing business for, for, for a long time. So, you know, his, even today, like you see my dad, it'll be five, you know, four or five in the afternoon and, and he'll walk in to get a donut and coffee and he's, and, he, and he's decked out and he's essentially retired. Right. But anyway, he taught me a lot, but I watched my dad ascend as an entrepreneur and then hit rough times and essentially lose everything. So what tends to happen, depending on our evolution of where we come from, and most of us, right, don't come from money. Right. So, or you've been through some type of pain or suffering where you've lost it. So you tend to have this mindset to where I, I, it's too much. I don't want to I, I don't want to spend it. But the reality is, for me, I found the more I spend on knowledge, the more I spend on boot camps, the more I spend on me, you know, interacting with other other mentors, right? And again, I was fortunate enough back in the 80s and 90s to go to guys like Zig Ziglar and, and, and Tom Hopkins and all these guys. I don't even know if you know who these guys are. I'm but jealous. I love Ziglar, man. I'm jealous. Yeah, so especially so that being team. said, you have to invest in yourself. You have to, you know, pay to play and you just have to make that commitment because here's the reality whether and, and I'm just being transparent like I had the conversation with you today like I'm dude your tickets are, are way too freaking cheap people yeah. might not even see the value like if you didn't have some big names there right it's almost like I want to tell you double, double, double your price because the people that are gonna come are gonna come anyway those that you're gonna have to convince shouldn't have to be in the convincing business, bro. You've got all the social proof. 19, you made 117,000 bucks. You've been in it now for a decade. You've got major companies mm -hmm. that come to you to procure leads for them to which they're selling millions and millions of dollars in product, true or false? True, very true. Right, you've got major, you got guys like Chuck coming to your event. Chuck's a major player, right? Not, not, not only does, is Chuck coming for the purpose of his business? He's into a lot of other things in various industries. And so is everybody. So, you know, it's a way to go in, it's a way to tap root, but
Yeah. An idea, anything at all, man. It's crazy. Yes. Yeah, so there's just, there's just, I'm, I'm pumped, bro. I can't, I can't wait. Dude, you're, wait to I love it, man. I, I love seeing you get all jacked up and excited over this, buddy. I, re, I really, really I'll do. I'll call my wife in here right now. If, if she'll tell you, my hobbies are selling. I'm on vacation. We go on a cruise and the guy's trying to sell me a beverage package. I'm like, no, bro. First of all, what's your name, dude? Oh, my. And I get into the whole thing, and before you know it, by the end of the cruise, you know, the guy's tracking me down going, oh, my God, you know, I, I sold X, I sold Y. Like, I don't know. I just like, I just like helping, helping people. You do, man. You, you, you've, you've went above and beyond helping us. We talk all the time. You know, you give me so much of your time. It's unreal, you know, to work with some of the guys that you do and as successful as you are and coming to this event. I mean, it's, it's awesome. Well, I mean, th think about what you're doing, what I'm doing, or anybody else that, that, that that's coming there. I mean, again, we're all in business to make money. But I read something today that said if you're just in it to make money, it's kind of like prostitution, right? It's a transaction and you're done, right? I don't have customers. I have clients. The difference between a customer and a client, not that I'm putting you on the spot, but do you know the difference between a customer and a client, the actual definition? I, I instantly think relation, the relationship. It is a relationship, but a, uh, in short, a, a customer is transaction-based. Thank mm. you. Come again. You know, Maybe you send them an email or... or right. They really know you. They just know your product and know your store. A client is someone that you, you, you consult, someone that you educate, and someone that comes to you for counsel to solve mm. your problem. So my goal is I don't have customers, I have clients. And then my ultimate goal, and many people will tell you it's wrong, I want to make my clients my friends. Now, does that happen each and every time? No. But that's my goal. Whether you're coming into my house or my office, right? I'm going to be hospitable, and and my house is your house, right? People say that oh, you know, business and personal, you know, it's separate, or 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 business isn't personal. It's personal to me. It's all I think about when I wake up in the morning. It's all I think about when I go to bed at night. So anyway, I'm pumped, dude. I, I think, uh, you know. On a personal note, you know, I only hope, let me rephrase that. I know, I know you're going to be successful. There's not a question in my mind. I'm pumped to be involved with you at the beginning, right? And I'm, I'm pumped when you have your second one and your third one and your fourth one and your fifth one. And you and just, and you just make a splash in this insurance industry and you build this community because that's what you're doing you're you're bringing a community together brother and anybody that doesn't see that or recognizes that needs to because that is huge thank, thank you man. you are not doing this for the money you don't at 28 years old right married right do you have, I don't even, do you have kids yet no kids no kids, Just, okay, no kids. so what i'm saying is you're putting you know what i mean you're 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 putting a lot on the line right now, right? You're putting it all out there, which most people wouldn't do. That's passion. That's that's love for the industry, and and that is truth, authenticity, and proof in its in its most organic form. And, and again, I'm just being completely sincere with you. That's why I'm excited to not only help you and be at the event, but I I want you to I want you to win because there's not many guys like. Uh, like you out there in any industry. Thank you, Thank brother. You, brother. That, that means that a lot. Means a lot. I mean, I mean you, are, you, already you already said, said they need, they to, need be to be there. You already said the ticket prices are too low. Should we even give a deal? No. No deal. I like it. <laughs> you got your deal on the website right now. Like if anybody wants to go, here's what you should do because you can yeah. track it, right? If somebody went and bought a ticket, right now online could you go and see who bought a ticket right now online yes 
Okay. What you might want to do is say anybody that takes action now, right? Yep. Give them an automatic upgrade. Again, I'm not Come telling you. I don't, I don't know your deal. I mean, if they buy a VIP, dude, give them a premium. If they buy a yeah. general, give them this. If they like, give them an automatic upgrade. That's a huge value, right? And it's if they make a commitment now, yeah. right? Between now and you know, in midnight their time, whatever that is. Perfect. Um, you know, upgrade them. That that's a huge value. And oh. dude, I I know again. I know you're going to knock it out of the park, and I'm excited for you and everybody that's going to be attending that event. Thank you, buddy. Dude, we're looking forward to having you. We're looking forward to you speaking on stage. We're looking forward to being in Nissan Stadium in Nashville, eating some barbecue, hanging out, running around the stadium, getting excited. As I, dude, I'm I'm the probably the most excited at what I'm going to learn by listening to people like you, Vince, Ray Lewis, Grant Cardone, Coach Burt, Tim Story. Here's the thing that people I, don't get excited. Here's the people that don't understand. Like when you're at these when you're at these deals, you know how many deals I've made or friendships um, I've acquired in the elevator or waiting for coffee at Starbucks or whatever it is. Like that's where the opportunity is too. It's not just being in the event and listening. You know, dude, I've closed deals on airplanes, in bathrooms, uh, on vacation. I was in Europe. I met a guy in line. Why, why we're in Europe, no BS, my wife will attest to it. <laughs> exactly what I preach. I reached out and I said, hi, my name's Charlie. What's your name? Right? The guy said, my name's Nelson. Nelson, what do you do? He goes, oh, I own a, uh, a chain of franchises called Cheap Burger, Cheap Burger. You know, C-H-E, uh, right? <laughs> I'm sitting there. Grab my camera, getting testimonials, and and I got I haven't closed the deal yet, but it's still in the works. Like, so anyway, I can go on and on, bro. I I, I I'm passionate about um, what I do. I know you are, and there's going to be a lot of passionate people, and there's going to be a lot of people there oscillating at a high frequency, man. Where even if you think, you know, if you think you're down here. I'm telling you, you're going to elevate yourself quickly. You're going to educate yourself at the event. You're going to elevate yourself because of the education. And by the time you leave there, you make some of those moves. You'll start dominating your space and, and, and making money. I love it, man. You heard it here first from Mr. Charlie Chena, the wealth creator, the wealth dominator, and the wealth generator, man, coming to the wealth conference. I, love Dude, it. I like that handle. You're my guy. <laughs> Hey, thank you guys so much for joining and watching. Mr. Charlie, thank you for being on, sir. My pleasure. Have a good night, everybody. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Look forward to seeing you at Aperton Nation Insurance Conference. Go to apertonnation.com to get your ticket for a chance at a free upgrade tonight only by midnight to get to hang out with people like Mr. Charlie Chena at Nissan Stadium. Thank you, brother. See you, buddy. Have a good night. Good night.